everyone. So it's a week and a couple of days past our wonderful anniversary celebration. So these roses are still standing up pretty well. But I'm going to make some rhubarb bread pudding with the leftover buns from the mini sliders. So let's head to the kitchen. So I cut up the mini slider buns. There was ciabatta buns and then just some with sesame seeds on top. And this, uh, there was about eight of them left and they were in the freezer. So we took them out and then we're just tired of eating them. And I, I hate to see anything go to waste. So I've cut those up and I've greased uh, my brand new ruby red casserole for, I got for a gift from my um, brother and his wife with some really nice red mugs. There's the lid to it and there's the red mug sitting up there. Beautiful because 40 is your ruby red anniversary. So i um, going to dump those in the casserole. So you needed about 8 cups of cut up bread and uh, stale bread is the best for any kind of a bread pudding and white bread is the best. We usually use whole wheat but for bread puddings white bread is the best. Then on the stove, I'll cover it so you don't get sick, is one and a half cups of milk. I'm using skim and a quarter cup of butter or margarine. In this case it's margarine and you're to bring that to a boil, to just to the boiling point, and then pour that over the bread cubes in the casserole and let it sit for 15 minutes. And while it's sitting, I'm going to eat my breakfast because it's early here and I'm just making my oatmeal for the week. But it's going to be very, very warm today. So although I hate to heat up my house with the oven on, we don't typically have air conditioning here in Canada because it's rare that we get days this hot. But it's going to be about 91 degrees Fahrenheit for us, which is really, really warm for us. And so um, if I'm going to do any baking, I do it in the morning. I've got all my drapes closed and the windows closed so the sun can't really beat into the house. And that tends to keep it really, really cool. So I'll be back after the bread has soaked. Okay, my bread cubes have been soaking for 15 minutes as per the recipe. And then in the meanwhile, I added four eggs in here, one and a half cups of milk, one and one quarter cups of white sugar, and a half teaspoon to a teaspoon of cin cinnamon, depending on your preference. And to that, I'm going to add what two cups, oops, dripping a bit, two cups of rhubarb that I just picked out of my backyard. So it's new rhubarb stalks, which is nice because it's not as bitter or woody as they say. So I'm just going to stir that together and then pour this whole mixture over top of the breadcrumbs. Now, um, this is what, for those of you who don't know much about bread pudding, this custard mix here is what makes the pudding. The eggs and the milk and the sugar of course for taste and cinnamon. So that's where you get your pudding from. And the bread soaks to a nice consistency. If you use fresh bread it just would almost go to mush. So then you just pour this over top like so and then just give it a really light, almost like folding, a bit of a stir, not too much. And then this is going to bake at 325 degrees for 50 minutes. So we're having leftover chicken for supper tonight, so I don't have to cook, which is nice in this heat. And my husband will be thrilled to know that I made dessert on a hot day like today. So I'm just going to pop that in the oven and I'll be back when it's all ready. I just love my new casserole dish. So pretty. See you in 50 minutes. My rhubarb bread pudding has uh, 13 more minutes to go. But um, as I'm waiting for it, I went, of course, to check the mail, and I got a parcel today, so sweet, that I wanted to share it with you. So it came in here, I won't show you the addresses, here's the envelope, and it was inside.
side of this beautiful bag with the stamping on the bottom. And look at how cute. It's from Mary Ann, who's a pocket full of vintage here on YouTube. Isn't that a cute idea to use the doily as a gift bag? I love little treasures like this. And inside was this absolutely exquisite card. I mean, the video isn't going to do it justice. In the background here, this is actually strings of pearls going on a diamond. And look at the little plastic heart. Looks like two swans necks meeting. I think that's what it is. Whoops, I'm too close. Isn't this just exquisite? And then on the inside, again, her paper has those strings on it, so I don't know if it was on the paper or what, but it's beautiful. So this says trust, and then, and look at the yummy fiber, and then there was a matching tag that says love. And look at the lace, look at the work in this, the little uh, pussy willow branches. Just absolutely exquisite. And then there was a little tag inside that said, Dear Monica, just a little something for your special day. I hope you like it. Love, Em. And it was for our anniversary for Richard and I. And I will treasure these forever. So thoughtful and so sweet and such a lovely surprise. And how synchronistic is it that I am today just using the last bits up, enjoying the last of my flowers of my anniversary, and just using, you know, the last little bits up of the, the food and making the um, rhubarb bread pudding. And then I get a little present. Isn't that nice? So nice, Marianne. Thank you so, so much. Very, very thoughtful of you. I love them. Okay, my rhubarb bread pudding is all ready. It was all bubbling a little while ago, so I let it cool, and I spooned out a little bit so I could taste it, so it would be cooled off by the time I video. So let me give this a little try. Mmm, it's really nice. I don't know if a lot of you are familiar with rhubarb, but it usually has a very, very bitter taste. But this doesn't at all. It is a really nice, um, light uh, pudding. And I think what I'm going to do is sprinkle just a little bit of white sugar on top. Because I think it will melt a little bit. And uh, it will be like a little bit of a crystallization on the top. Just maybe a little about a teaspoon. It will add a little bit of kind of a crunch to it. There. That is really good. It was worth heating my um, house up for. Actually, it didn't. The new ovens nowadays, your house, you can barely tell that you even have them on. So, there you have it. Rhubarb bread pudding with a little bit of cinnamon. So, I hope you give that a try. And again, Marianne, thank you so much for this beautiful card and tag. I'll cherish them forever. So I hope you are all enjoying the weather and having a wonderful day, whether it be winter where Marianne is in Australia or summer here in the Northern Hemisphere. And thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.